In this video, we're combining classic VFX techniques with some of the AI magic that is available today. This is so much fun. Check out what we're making. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Bro, what is this? Just in time, my dude. Dinner at survey. What, dude, that's like an absorb for one tum. We got like 20 people coming over. We can't feed one pizza to like all those people, dude. Not having enough Zaw at a Zaw party is an S tier party foul, dude. I know, dude, we're gonna have mad angry people. What are we gonna do? I have the solution to our most heinous and precarious situation. Check it. Okay. I scored this over at Denny's last night. Oh, nice. Denny's makes an excellent breakfast. Whoa, dude. No, Denny's our neighbor. Yeah, Denny, he makes a most excellent breakfast. Tja. Anyway, this is a big five, 5,000. Whoa, dude, what does that even mean? It means we are gonna solve our Zaw problem at a molecular level. <laughs> All right, cool, lay it on me. Check it out. Whoa, <laughs> dude, that's amazing. Yeah. We could solve world hunger with this. Holy crap, or throw massive pizza parties, am I right? <laughs> Righteous! So this was a really fun project and we combined a bunch of different techniques to make this work. Our original footage looks like this. We printed out this really cool like uh, cartoon ray gun and shot this in my newly remodeled kitchen. But the idea was that we would shoot this tiny pizza and it would grow into a great big pizza. Now, normally how you would do something like this is if you were going to keep it simple, you would take a really nice still of this pizza and then just kind of scale it up in post. If you wanted to get really fancy with it, you would have a 3D model of the pizza so that you could kind of squish it and morph it and give it a little bit of dimension. But this abstract kind of like morphing things effect is a great use for some of the AI video generation stuff today. And so to make this effect easier, I exported the first frame here as kind of the start of the animation and exported this frame as the last frame of the animation. Then I took this image and I uploaded it to Artlist, who were nice enough to sponsor this video. Artlist is a website we use for stock media all the time. They have a huge library of stock footage and music, but they're also unlocking new AI models all the time. And so what you can do is upload any image and you can basically kind of have it Photoshop stuff for you. And so I said something like, make the pizza as big as the counter. And I got a pretty good result. Now, the thing with AI is it can do some really amazing things, but it also really helps to know what you're doing when it comes to images and compositing and everything, because the pizza looked really good, but the positioning and everything wasn't exactly how I wanted. And so I took this and used it as an element and brought this into Affinity and composited this in and made sure the edges were really good so that I had a big pizza for the last frame of the video. And what's really cool is they have an AI video model called Kling01, and this lets you take a start frame and an end frame. Okay, so this was the first frame, and this was the last frame. And then I put that into Kling01, and I told it to animate the small pizza in the first image to grow and be a huge pizza in the second image. As the edge of the pizza touches the mugs, it slowly pushes them down off the bottom of the frame. And this is what we got. What's crazy is that in between these frames, this is all generated. And so none of this is real. It's not just the pizza, but it's everything in the frame, which completely blows my mind. But yeah, so we have this really cool animation of this pizza growing that, I mean, I just, I could never do this in a million years. I mean, I'm not going to learn photorealistic 3D rendering and food modeling <laughs> to, to get this to this point, but I can use this AI tool to make a custom element of this growing pizza. Now, like I said, the rest of this is generated too, but it's not going to be exactly what my video should be because we're gonna have the guys behind the pizza kind of reacting to it. And although this video makes pretty good sense, it's not going to match with the video that we're actually working with. And so I downloaded this and brought it into Fusion. So here's our growing pizza. And this is where it's really important to understand how to use traditional compositing tools and not just totally rely on AI. Now this is great because I can take this amazing animation and because I know a little bit about compositing, I can put this together to be realistic and enhance it. 
So we have this, and what I ended up doing was using Magic Mask to rotoscope this out and isolate this element. And then what I did was combined it with the rest of the counter. So we put this together. We have the edge of the pizza there from the Magic Mask, as well as the rest of this counter. And these are all one element. And that's kind of on top of our original footage, which doesn't have any of that, right? So we're just slapping these elements on top. And now we get both the growing pizza as well as the real reaction from the guys. Then I took that masked pizza and used it as a mask for some various effects. We have some kind of electricity clouds kind of growing back and forth, which we made with fast noise and displacement. There's this one as well, which looks a little bit more like lightning. And we're combining those with that element to enhance it, right? Then we're having it glow green a couple ways. And then we added this laser from the gun. I wanna pause here too and show you how we made this laser because I experimented with a couple different ways to do this. So the first thing we're starting out with is just a mask. And this is just a polygon line. I ended up just animating this little point to follow with the end of the gun. I could have tracked it, but I just kind of moved it around and animated it. And then I ran that through a displace. So a displace is a way for you to kind of push pixels around based on a black and white map. And so typically you'll run like a fast noise into a displace node and then it'll kind of make everything wobbly. But when you do that, it moves everything around. And so we go from the laser coming out of the end of the gun to the laser kind of just being at a random place. And so what I ended up doing was taking a ramp, just a black and white ramp, and multiplying that over the fast noise and so that it's black right here at the top. Black means there's gonna be no displacement, where white means it's going to be fully displaced. And so what happens is this displacement doesn't start until like here, and then it kind of gets more and more displaced. See what happens when I turn off this ramp? Look at that. So it kind of keeps that top in place, and so it's always on the end of that gun. And to make this glow and look cool, first of all, we blurred it, and I ran a copy of this through Alpha Matte Shrink Grow, which just takes something and kind of squeezes the edges down a little bit. Ran that through a brightness and contrast and a blur, and then merged that on top of the green blurry version. And now we have this lightning looking thing. And then put that on top of everything else, and now we have this little laser thing. <sighs> Isn't that cool? Which again, this is all traditional compositing stuff. This is all uh, visual effects goodies. Added a lens flare here. And then I needed a smoke element to kind of sell that this is, you know, hot and there's actually something happening there. And so we have this smoke footage, which I also got from Artlist because they have a bunch of stock footage there too. And we put all these elements together, both the original footage and the AI pizza and combined it with masking and other elements, the smoke element, and it all came together to be the final effect. This right here is why it's still really important to understand the traditional compositing tools, because you can make some amazing stuff with AI and it's getting better and better and better. And it can give you all these different amazing versions of all kinds of stuff that you can dream about. But what's really next level is being able to take this kind of stuff that's, you know, 80% there and take it the rest of the way with your skills and your creativity. And that's really the magic. We've been having so much fun making visual effects and experimenting with this AI stuff on Artlist's website. And I love the idea that you can just kind of imagine things and it can help you generate them. So again, big thanks to Artlist for sponsoring this video. If you want a smoking deal on an Artlist subscription that unlocks all this cool stuff, there's a link in the description below. We'll also put one right here. And yeah, we've been having so much fun around the shop thinking about all this crazy stuff that we can do now because of AI technology and the amazing ways you can transform images and animate things. It's just wild. We live in such a cool time. I hope you had fun watching our pizza movie. <laughs>